Lines spilled out into the street as fans flocked to their nearest cinema to watch the culmination of a decade of Marvel movies when Avengers Endgame finally arrived in theaters. And judging from the reaction on Twitter, the vast majority left more than happy. Warning, spoilers ahead. Filmmaker and self-professed fanboy Kevin Smith got to attend the Endgame world premiere with his daughter Harley Quinn Smith. Yes, the man loves comics. Unsurprisingly, the Mallrats director absolutely loved the movie, and he was eager to share that fact. Taking to Twitter afterwards, Smith predicted that Endgame was going to smash box office records. Three hours later, and I'm shook. My god, Avengers Endgame is beyond epic. It's everything you hope it will be and more, an absolute Marvel Studios marvel. And I'm pretty sure it will make all the money ever printed. Loved it and would watch again instantly. The hype surrounding Avengers Endgame was so huge that it would have been considered a disappointment if it was anything short of the best superhero movie ever made. Fortunately for Marvel and everyone involved with the picture, it was exactly that. At least according to Emmy-nominated producer and film critic Scott Mance, who tweeted, Incredible brings the entire MCU to a rousing, exciting, deeply moving, and wholly satisfying conclusion. It's a beautiful film. Fun, smart, clever, brilliant. Perfect blend of action, heart, and humor. This is as good as it gets. Greatest superhero movie ever. With a runtime of three hours and one minute, Marvel ran the risk of dragging out proceedings somewhat. But if anything, three hours and one minute wasn't enough. The film hurdles by as loose ends are tied and sacrifices are made, culminating in a battle of truly epic proportions. After the time-traveling Avengers finally manage to bring the Infinity Stones back to the present, Thanos arrives to wipe them and the rest of humanity out for good. One thing's for sure, the final act of the movie really sticks with you. YouTube star Noah J456 tweeted, I can't stop thinking about it. I think the last hour of Avengers Endgame was the greatest hour of film ever to be shown on the big screen. Cinema Blend events editor Eric Eisenberg describes himself as a film and comics obsessive in his Twitter bio, meaning he's the kind of guy who's particularly hard to please when it comes to superhero movies. Judging from the tweet he sent out after seeing Endgame for the first time, Marvel exceeded expectations with this picture. This can't be understated. Avengers Endgame is everything you want it to be and more. I am absolutely floored. A perfect reflection of the last 11 years that pays off everything in the best way possible. Without question, my new favorite Marvel Cinematic Universe film, Stunned. Character limits mean nothing when you've got a good meme. Twitter users were in good form when Endgame was released, with MCU fans using images and movie clips to convey the emotions that their words simply could not. One user by the name of R.I. Peter Parker posted a screenshot of Chadwick Boseman's King T'Challa visiting his father in the ancestral plane and confessing that he's not ready to move on without him. With the image, they wrote, Me staying in my seat and refusing to leave the cinema after the credits roll because I'm far too attached to these characters and this story. I am not ready to be without you. Others have been poking fun at the fact that Marvel has urged people not to spoil the movie, posting what they're calling spoilers without context. These range from beer bellies and rats to cheeseburgers and tacos. If you've seen Endgame by now, you get it. The word epic is probably thrown around a little too liberally in the world of pop culture, and the word was used a lot on Twitter following the premiere of Endgame. Was this just fans doing what fans do and going overly crazy over something they love, or is Endgame truly epic? According to novelist and veteran reporter Anthony Bresnikin, it most certainly is. In his estimation, Epic is the word, epic multiplied by a decade of emotion, excitement, and investment. This is the payoff. It left me with a full heart. The one I had has some scars on it. Those are the strongest kind, after all. While many have been trolling Avengers fans with wild and elaborate fake spoilers, some people have broken the golden rule and revealed big details from the movie on Twitter. We're going to dive into those big spoilers right now, so this is your last chance to keep Endgame a secret if you haven't seen it. Matter of fact, you may do well to stay off the internet entirely, because charmingly blunt tweets like this one are definitely making the rounds. Iron Man dies, Natasha Romanoff dies, Captain America gets old, technically implied dead, Thor is fat, Gamora is now alive, and Loki is also alive, Valkyrie is now the ruler of Asgard, Thanos disappears, Tony Stark has a daughter, Bruce Banner and Hulk live as one, so it's smart Hulk. And yeah, that pretty much sums the whole thing up. It happened with Josh Brolin's Thanos after Infinity War, but this time out Mark Ruffalo's Hulk was Twitter's bizarre crush. Ruffalo has played Bruce Banner and the Hulk for years now, so what's the big deal? 
This time, they're one and the same, and the result is giving some Twitter users confusing feelings. As one smitten fan tweeted, Hey, not to be predictably me, but why is Professor Hulk so hot? Another said that they were sticking to their guns despite the critics, declaring, I'm being bullied for speaking my truth. Yes, I'd smash Hulk. He's the hot professor I've always wanted. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.